Senator Perkins on the bill. Thank you so much. Um, I want to, uh, you know, uh, I want to talk about the elephant in the room. You know, race and class. The fact of the matter is that in communities of color, they're obviously not getting the facts that supposedly are so evident because they're fleeing the public school system. You've seen them, thousands lined up to get into what they consider to be a better opportunity. Usually when people flee a building, something's on fire, something is wrong, not right. Nobody's like lining up to get into the schools of Harlem or the schools in communities of color. Maybe they're lining up to get into the schools on the east side. Maybe they're lining up to get into schools in Queens coming from Harlem. But for the most part, in those communities, the facts are very clear. Every day you see it on TV, thousands lined up, fleeing their school, their neighborhood public school across the street from where they, where they live. Why? Because somebody said that this school is a bad school and that that opportunity, today called a charter school, is the way to go. You don't find those schools below 96th Street or the 96th Streets of our city. You don't find charter schools. You don't find people lining up for charter schools from those communities. You only find them lining up for my community and my, the communities that some of us represent. Now, why is that? If the numbers are so outstandingly good, why is nobody fighting to get into the school around the neighbor, around the corner from where people live. This city has been so beautifully designed that a parent only has to take their kid down the steps and they walk across the street and there's a public school right there. Why is that parent deciding to go outside of their neighborhood instead of across the street if mayoral control has been so successful? And why does the Times report that the guests of the, of the, of the cities attending one type of school and other types of, uh, the other part of the, of the community, the community of color, only being given charter schools. Fact. That's the elephant in the room that, that we don't want to face. We have a racially segregated situation in New York City. And we want to continue that under this thing called mayoral control. No one wants to hear that. But that's a fact. We want to believe the statistics that they provide us, but we don't want to believe what we see on TV. We don't want to believe what we read in the papers. Listen to the New York Times. Isn't that the paper of note? Isn't it still the number one paper, the number one voice, the one that we all want to be quoted in, the one that we want the endorsement of? L read the New York Times. They'll tell you just this week. So why are we telling ourselves that what we have is successful? Let's tell it like it is. He wants to control it. He wants to control that budget for his own purposes. But our children are not succeeding in this, under this system. And he can't say that they are with any real clear evidence. And you can ask them, because they know where these kids are going to the school, what they're doing. They're built, and, then when, and when they do build these charter schools, they're, they're having them built in the neighborhood public schools where the, and the parents are fighting their neighbors. So you have two parents normally hanging out, kids hanging out, enjoying each other. One goes to PS 123 and all of a sudden here comes Eva Moskowitz to take over their school, unauthorized, because she is a charter school developer and she has been given so much, somewhat of a carte blanche to do so. Now, how do, how, who, who else is around here experiencing that, that kind of mayoral control, that kind of success, that their schools are being taken over by charter schools? There is not one school in the white community that's been taken over by a charter school in New York City. Why is that, if they're so good? Why is that? We can't continue this. It's dividing our city along racial and class lines. We don't want to face that, but that's a fact. Thank you, Senator Perkins. Senator Golden.